Hey guys, this is Jules. I want to share the project that I was supposed to make for September. I wanted to make up <laughs> for the project that I didn't do. So I wanted to make a little back to school or school themed kind of a gift. I'm going to show you something that inspired me to make this and it is a toilet paper roll. Yeah. So I was messing with it. I'm like, oh, I can make a nice little box or a sleeve for something like a, a candy, which hint, hint, can be something for our October challenge. Um, I actually have a Hershey's bar sitting here and um, this one doesn't fit like, I mean, it's a little bit too uh, big for it, but I know that there are some other candy bars that are wider that or like a little bag of M&Ms or something else that can fit in something like that so you guys can play with that if you want to uh, play along with our October challenge for creating a treat bag box um, container sleeve whatever you want to do so here let me make your mouth water and just leave it at the corner there so anyways that was my inspiration for creating this so I had some pencils sitting on my carousel and I kind of leave them there for Anna to just come and grab when she needs a pencil. And um, I was actually just going to cover the toilet paper roll with the paper and I did not do that because I ended up scoring it a little bit off so it didn't fit it right and it was just creased funny. So I just went ahead and just made my own box and I ended up folding it, Let's see if I can share that really well here. I ended up just folding it and tucking it as if it was a little box like and this is what I had next to me that I was kind of going off the template just looking at it and seeing how it just kind of closes there and so I didn't make a sleeve like like this like the little slide on box it was not like that um, I made it look like a a box that you know just closed both ends and it has the two little flaps and I couldn't tuck it in because I didn't cut this um, in like narrow enough so I just folded it over it and I glued it down onto that I thought it was cute so then I used some of the jute ribbon and in the green in the bright green I didn't alter it at all and it just had this nice bright color I used paper from uh, the grade school stack from DCWV that has really really cool bright uh, like elementary school kid color so here's just a little look at some of the papers from this collection this one has like frogs so cute this one has butterflies i was just thinking of a picture that i remember of anna she was sitting on a bench or something at school and um, she had this mad look on her face i don't know what was wrong with that child she's always had a serious look on her face you guys wouldn't tell that now but when she was younger yeah she was a. Uh, I mean she looked like she can kick your butt if you looked at her wrong <laughs> But, um, yeah, I remember that picture, and I'm like, oh, that would go cute with that, because I think she had a green shirt on. But look how fun that is, all those primary colors. I think they're just so cute. And this one has that border for all these little shoes. It's so cute. Anyways, there's a border cut. Um, I like this die cut sheet. That one, it's so cute. And this one has two of each sheet, so... Anyways, it's the DCWV uh, pack, the grade school. So I used a paper from that collection to make this piece here. This blue piece, I think, is, um, yeah, it's also from that stack. And I just did a scallop border punch and um, just wrapped it around the back. It was a little short, but I ended up just gluing it down um, or adding an extra little piece and gluing it together. So it's it's not a big deal. It's just the back side. Who cares? A little bit of glue showing right there, but not a big deal. Then I made another little uh, a little book and a wild orchid crafts clock charm that I just uh, used some of the white paint dauber and painted it and I covered it completely and then I just sanded it so that some of the shiny it looks like a penny it reminds me of a penny and I just wrapped some yellow um, twine so cute I think these colors were so per so perfect for school themed. Um, project so I just wrapped it around like three times and then I made a little bow and added a couple of chrysanthemum um, so the booklet does have some pages in it I made it thick so this one fits eight pencils just nice and tight in there so then I added a green cherry blossom there these are the two-tone lime green and then just a couple of little uh, of the five millimeter self-adhesive pearls so anyways, just wanted to share that I did do my little um, back to school gift project assignment for the month of September. I have the 
products listed down below uh, with the links as well as some pictures over on my blog. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Jewel sending out of the jewel box for Wild Orchid Crafts. Bye, you guys.